So welcome back guys. My name is Amran and in today's Make Punch Free campaign we go about looking at how we can set up separate passwords for locking our screen and then locking our applications. Now if you are using a OnePlus you know how valuable this is. You see basically what happens is the default app locker like which is there in the utilities. So let me just show it to you. So what happens is that you can use this like the default inbuilt app locker thing and you can add apps to this so whatever apps i now add to this it will be locked using the same screen pattern lock that i have set up on oneplus so basically what happens is we have the same screen lock pattern for not only unlocking our screen but also unlocking apps now this can like be a turn off and you may for whatever reasons want to have separate screen lock patterns or separate passwords for locking your screen and locking individual apps. So how do you do this? So firstly on a OnePlus on any device you just lock your screen the way you would. So let me just demonstrate that to you. Swipe from the top, tap on settings, scroll down until you see security and lock screen and then you can use any one of the ways like you can use a screen lock or a fingerprint or a face unlock. So I used a pattern and like you know I kind of selected the pattern for locking my screen. So you lock your screen using this. Well, now I don't want to use the same thing for my app. So what do I do? I head towards the Play Store and I use a third party application for locking my applications. Now this is App Lock Pro by uh, Ivan Apps. So you can search for it in the Play Store. So App Lock, you can search for it. And then this application, you can see it has a 4.5 star rating. It has ads coming on it but if you can pay a small price you also get to use the premium version without ads go ahead and install this once this has been installed tap on open so the app is opening up then you are required to set a pin so let me set one one two two one one two two and let me create i will be asked to repeat this one one two two one one two two and save this now you can like you know just give some random answer just so that you remember so permit drawing over other apps so you need to give this permission so like here app lock so just give this permission two permissions are needed access over data and this so okay so now we can start and for starting again the pin which we had entered so so critical apps get locked by itself so you can check that in the lock list so these are basically the critical apps, Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, Gmail, phone, contacts. And you may at any point of time, you may want to, I mean, remove this. The way to simply remove this is by clicking on this little unlock icon and it goes out from the list and it comes in the unlock list. You can again add them back. So it's on you like, and for any of this, you now need the pin to kind of enter. So let's see this in action. So say I want to now open up WhatsApp. So it's in the part of the critical list. So I'm not prompted for the screen pattern. So I'm prompted for my password that I said to do, and I can enter inside and say like I decide to switch my screen off and now I want to bring my screen back on. So I'm prompted for my screen pattern. So very clearly, if I want to use my critical apps, then basically now I can use a separate password for them. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I now understand perhaps you uh, can do this using the mechanism that we just demonstrated so you can have separate screen lock patterns and then separate passwords for your applications in case you still want something further customized let us know and we should be able to do that as well so if you think this was valuable please consider subscribing to the channel and also tap on the bell icon for notifications like always thanks for watching i will catch you in the next one thank you